Hello everybody, my name is Devin Scott and welcome to a new video finally. I know it's been such a long time. Uh, and here, as you guys might guess from the million, millions of other playthroughs, uh, the Crash Insane Trilogy is out. Um, so, just kind of a quick wrap of what's getting, been going on with me and why I haven't posted videos and everything. Basically, I work night shift and I was trying to mix art and working night shift, 10 hour night shifts and uh, doing this and... Then I had a convention in the PopCon pop up, and so everything kind of trickled down, and it was more of the art because I only had so long I could stay up, and so I decided to, um, you know, I, I applied for a day shift spot and I got that. So now my schedule is I have I basically have more time because I don't have to worry about sleeping all day. So and. Uh, bring it back I wanted to uh, play some games I mean are very very close to me and I'm gonna be going in order but I originally <laughs> I also have my son here with me he's uh, playing with a toy car he has no idea what's going on for I think I'm insane but uh, these games are near and dear to my heart crash 2 was one of the first games I ever played one of the first games I ever beat too as far as my memory goes it was Oh, excuse me. It was definitely the first PlayStation game I played. So, along with that, I think I plan on doing all three because each game can be beat in just a couple of hours. But I'm going to start with Crash Bandicoot because I've, I've, I've played Crash Bandicoot, but I never beat it, uh, mainly because of the save system on it, which luckily they fixed that without a save. And then I'm going to play Crash 2, which is near and dear to my heart. And then I'm going to play Crash Warped, um, which I have never played. I hear people say all the time that it's one of the best Crash games. So, but I don't know. It's going to be pretty hard to beat Crash Bandicoot 2. So, uh, yeah, we're going to start a new game. And I'm going to hope this doesn't erase my and my fiance's game. Uh, we'll overrate the auto. Okay, yeah. Overrate the uh, auto save. Because we have it saved on there already, so. If not, that's just more time we get to spend together to, to uh, play it. So if you're watching, uh, love, I love you. Mwah. Also, the loading... Oh, okay. Shh. We haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron. This bandicoot will be my general. He will lead my cortex commandos to world domination. This time, I shall reign triumphant. <laughs> We're closer than ever before. Quickly, into the vortex. Yeah, what's going on? Huh? What's going on? The vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. <laughs> Failure again. So it's funny because this this game acts like it has like a super deep story, but it doesn't. I mean, you'll you'll see why. I mean, like, I mean, there's bosses and everything, but yeah. Ugh. Also, I don't know uh, how many people know, but which maybe a few, but Crash is actually voiced by the uh, the same guy that did uh, Wacko Warner. Can't quite remember his name, but oops! Wow, this is off to a great start. I swear I'm better than that. I know. So wait, can you? Uh, no, okay, you can't belly flop. In this one. You can't slide in the first one. You can't belly flop in the first one. So we will jump over that crab, which is what I totally meant to do. And, um, unless you guys really, really want to see it, these aren't going to be, like, full completion style playthroughs. So, uh, if I can get on the box, all the boxes, um, oops, 
I'm going to try, but if I can't, oh well, is what it is. You want to get all the boxes? Play it for yourself. So, how, I'm, I'm just interested, which obviously you guys can't answer me now, but uh, how many of you played the original trilogy and which one was your fi favorite? Um, I heard, like, and it was kind of weird because, uh, of course, Crash, you know, after the third one, Naughty Dog didn't own Crash anymore. It went to, this one's owned by Activision, so I'm going to guess Activision. And, uh, god damn it. Okay, I wasn't paying attention at that time, sorry. Um, so I heard some people say, like, Twin Sandy. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, also, I apologize for that. Um, this wasn't the last one Naughty Dog did. The last one Naughty Dog did was uh, uh, Crash. Team, no, Crash, Crash Racing. It wasn't Crash Team Racing. Um, oh God, this killed me and my fiance so many times. Okay, so you gotta. No. did it um don't kill me turtle okay that was bullshit but back to what i was talking about uh sorry i was off track i also quit recording let's play the I suck. oh that turtle's dead now but i lost my Aku Aku. Aku Aku. um i heard uh i heard twin sandy was pretty good uh and i think we started the play it on this channel uh, it was like one of the earlier let's plays, but damn, damn it! I s <laughs> Ugh. This is totally the new Dark Souls, um, which I, th I I believe it was Twin Sandy we started to play. Um, I also heard Mind Over Mutant wasn't too bad. Oh, I never got around to playing them. Like I said, I only played the second one. And a little bit of the first one later in my life. So, I don't know. Would you guys like me, like to see me try to play Mind Over Mutant or go back to playing Twin Sandy with Abby? Um, just just uh, let me know, because I would like to. Because I, I remember the episode we stopped on, because I think... Ah! I think we had a... Uh, uh, diff... I, I think something happened with some of our audio or something. Um, hi, bye. We, uh, but I remember the level we stopped on. It was a level where you had to spend the entire time, like, rolling with Cortex. And so that sucked because it was really hard to control. It Okay, let's try this again. Oh, 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 oh! Did it. Don't, don't, don't. Don't kill me, Mr. Turtle. Okay, sweet. So that's the end of the level, but first, as I'm sure many of you know, we got to pick up this. Wait for. Oh! Oh, is there not a crystal in the first? There's not. Sorry, there's not crystals in the uh, first game. That's right. It's just literally getting to the end. My bad. And sometimes getting these gems. Yay! Perfect. Apparently, there's a key hidden in that level. Ta-da! I love Crash. I would watch a crash like show that was like this cartoony. Um, did any of you ever see? Because I know Skylanders came out with a TV show. And it was kind of dumb. Um, but did you guys ever see the episode with a uh, crash in it? It was kind of weird because uh, like they brought Crash in, and it was clever, of course, giving him an Australian voice uh, actor. But it was kind of weird because he was like smart and he was like tactical and he kind of led the group during that episode and then Spyro like, you know, looked up to him. But it was weird because 
I mean, Crash is an idiot. I mean, like, like I'm not even being mean about that. He's literally an idiot. That's like his one character trait. I mean, I think, well, except until this came around, it only said like one word, which is pancakes. Ah, damn it. So I don't know. It's kind of weird. But then again, Skylanders is oh, okay. All the Skylanders are cool. I just wish it wouldn't have like taken down Spyro. Like if we could get them to do this with the Spyro game, which I'm sure they've gotten plenty of requests for, whoever owns Spyro now, it would be absolutely amazing. And it would like, it would make so many people happy. Oh uh, yeah, okay. But yeah, I would actually absolutely, uh, you know, buy, if they did a remake like this with uh, the first three Spyro games, I would absolutely love that. And then they should remake the Spyro Crash games from the GBA. Anyone remember that? There. Okay, so I have to... So I don't know if I can actually get that without the path. I don't think I can. No, I, I don't think I can. So I have to collect a colored gem to open that up. Sorry, that, I mean, you know, I, I, I can't, you know, say it in a joking, oh, suck it, joking manner that, oh, I'm so bad at uh, Let's Play, but like seriously, like, this distractiveness that where I'll jump from one topic to another it's kind of the reason why like I don't know if it bothers anyone but it like personally bothers me oh yeah I have to hold on the next extra life I get I have to like whirl it away because I'll get a trophy also bonus zone okay. hell yeah okay, so point 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 Point, point. It's so weird not to be able to slide in this game because I rely on the slide jump in Crash 2 so much. Again, I don't really know. I'm sure I will in Crash 3, especially since he has that super twirl. But then again, I've, I've never played Crash 2, so I don't know. Also, you're dead. So. Uh, Okie dokie, here's the we go. Jump up, hit over that. Where did I miss three boxes at? Oh yeah, the bonus level. That's right. Maybe. I don't know. Poor crash. Whee! There we go. So this this level, like I said, I've uh, been playing this game with my fiance, and like this level, for whatever reason, we can't find like the last three boxes. It's like fucking impossible. And like we even looked up a playthrough, which it was on the older game, so that might have changed. But like we can't fucking turtle. We can't even, like, it didn't show us, like, any boxes we missed. It was weird. So I, I, I know I have to get the turtle for that, and then kill you, and wait. Wait! And hold on. Boop, boop. Ah, this guy. I do, I have seen... Did I get the... There it is. Okay. So, I have seen... Uh, I've seen people, seen people complain about, like, Crash not being as... I don't know. I don't know what the right word is. 
not flexible. I don't know, he lands heavier. That's that's the word I'm looking for. And he seems to be heavier, and I kind of agree, but I kind of like it better. I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but... Just gotta get through this bonus level and get these. Three extra lives and one bonus level. Not to mention I got another one there. See? Uh, maybe it's because we have to unlock this path, I guess. It's possible. Because I think that takes you to a new area. It might, like, take you around the exit. Aw, oh, poor Crash. He's just like, what? What'd I do? That's Aku Aku, right? Or is that Uku Uku? I, I don't know. I thought I thought it was Aku. I think it's Aku Aku. But Aku Aku like sounds more evil, I guess. So there's only 16 boxes in this level. Cha Ching. I already got half of them. Go me. Oh. Of course, right, right when I was to say that. Also, this music is killer. Crash always did have great music. Jump, run, jump, run, Crash, run! You Indiana Jones copying bastard. Simple shit, simple shit. Oh, who just builds a fence right there? I mean, I guess no one has to, has to build it. I don't know if uh, it did in the first game, but I know in the second game, one. Hey, you're okay. But I know in the, uh, I know in the sec, I died. In the second game, if you just barely got in the entrance before whatever, the boulder or the polar bear or whichever it would be got to you, he like jumped forward and rolled. But I haven't seen, I haven't seen it do that in this game. I don't know. It, it just seemed kind of weird to take something like that. Ow! Sorry, Crash. Alright. I got this this time. I got this this time! No! Oh, it still counts! Oh, run! Oh, run, Crash! Aw, oh, that was crap. All right, almost there. I ain't gonna get squished it this time. I mean, I might, the, the night is young. Yes. I did it. He's like, oh, hi. Uh, do you wanna, do you wanna hang out? Or, okay, bye. Hula. Is this here for something? This is a secret? I like jump on it three times? No? Okay. I don't know if it is or not. Whoa! That was close. I hated, hated at least the, uh. The, uh. Ooh, I didn't know those saying the later like river levels. Uh, ooh, owie. Especially in like uh well Crash Bandicoot 2. Like I said, the one that I've played. Like, they got really hard. You had to have like precision jumps and uh which I mean you always have to have precision jumps, but like here there is very little room for error. Same with these, and you can't 
I mean, as we just saw, these sink and these guys try to eat, and it's all bullshit. So, yeah. I don't know if you can kill those little guys, but... And then, like, later on, they switch up the colors of the ones that snap and the ones that wait. Bullshit. Touching the ground, crash. Fucking nailed it. Except for these two. I do like how it's like you're you're just kind of like, oh, it's giving me these, uh, you know, all these lives pretty early. This game won't be too bad, and then this game slowly starts to kick your ass, and then it steals your money, and it says, hey. You owed me, and you're like, I paid you back, and it's like, interest, bitch. And then, it like, I don't know, it kicks you in the nuts and laughs at your family. Because they never made anything out of themselves. That got dark. What? Huh. I do know, like, the more boxes you miss, of course, the more that land on his head. But eventually it like starts pushing him into the ground. It's both funny and really sad. Cause then he just like cops up, he's like, What I do? Okay, off and pop. Then after this, we actually get the uh, after this we're able to switch between uh, Coco and uh, Crash. And I wanna play as Coco. Actually, can I just stand here and dodge all it? I, oh, I can. Wow. Okay. Fucking pro skills here. Also, nice crack. Oh, at least that doesn't hurt me, so. Yep, and done. That was pretty easy. Yeah. Also. You're a dick, Crash. Page. But anyway, I am going to end this episode here. If you guys are liking this, please give it a like, give it a heart, whichever it goes up on. Uh, YouTube or Vidme. Uh, give me a share. It really it really does help. Uh, if you want to see more of this, let me know. If you want to see other games, let me know. I plan on doing a whole bunch. Uh, like I said, I want to get through these three games. Anyway. Until next time, good night, and don't let the rafters bite. Bye, guys.